Well, we finally did it. We uh, took our cows to the butcher. All right, so we are getting ready to get the cows off to the butcher. I have been planning on moving the cows to, I don't really want to call it a pasture, but just like a side area next to their pasture. They had eaten most of the good stuff down out of their pasture, and I think it'd be easier to corral them in this area anyway, so I'm just gonna put it up, let them eat what they can, and then we'll use it as like a chute to move them into the trailer. So this right here is the main area. So at least they'll get to eat this down. Hopefully they'll knock a good chunk of that down because this is a pain in the butt to mow. Uh, this panel isn't quite reached as far enough across. So I think I'm gonna put this little panel here too. So we've got that secured right there with some bungee cords. I know it does not look that secure. We'll talk about this area in just a minute. So we have a hidden fence panel right down there that's just laying down. Oh, that's where my other bungee cord. I knew I needed this for something and I couldn't remember exactly what. However, now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna need a larger bungee cord. This one's gonna be too small to go around that post. So I'm gonna have to come back again. But anyway, um. This is my hidden fence panel right here. So as soon as I get the cows into this area right here, like maybe I'll put some food or something over there, like, a, I don't know, like a big watermelon, maybe that'll get them going. Um, then I can come over here real quick, flip this up, uh, bungee it into place right there, and then swing that panel in, and this is the locking side, and lock it into that. Anyway, this is gonna stay here. That's set up back there so they can eat in here. They can eat back there, plus they've got some nice shade right here, which they don't have out there. I don't see the cows. I wonder if they moved over there. Stay here, stay Isn't that better? You got some nice yummy food. I've got a couple apples here. Um, I'm gonna smash them and put them over on the far side. Hope that the cows kind of meander over there to go eat them. Hopefully they won't knock it down and get rowdy or anything. Cause I've got, we got about two hours until the truck comes to get them, so.
Well, I really didn't expect it to go that quickly, um, but I am shaking like a leaf right now because I know what happened last time. Oh, I see my cow. Ginger! Way down here. And she's taking one time to get her really ticked off and she just push right through that and knock it all over. I think next time we get cows, we're gonna have to seriously sit down and discuss getting panels to move cows with and how to hook stuff up. We got the uh, cow pickup guy here. Uh, he's gonna back up and well, fingers crossed this all goes well. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. Thus far, it's gone very smoothly. So I'm just praying it's gonna keep that way. So I think he's getting it all situated down there. You know, I've been doing this for 11 years for Southern County. Okay. We have another guy that does the southern half of the oh, okay. country. And I do the northern half because I live in Cedar. Oh, oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I work in Sparta, live in Cedar. Nice. So, when I'm coming, when I know I'm working up here, I go down and get a truck and trailer the day before. Okay. So, after work, I get out 220 and start doing my business. What I love about this job is you. What? Along with, <laughs> well, you know, you know the people. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, before this happened, I would go down to Vermontville. Yeah. And it would be a nice sunny day, a lot of Amish living there. Oh, yeah. And really nice people. And you go down there, and as you're going, leaving, because the, everybody knows who you are and where you're going. It's just that kind of community. Yeah. And so they see me going by, and they know I just went to the Millers or to the, you know, Yoders or whatever to pick up animals. And the guy's out there plowing. Yeah. You know, He's... with four teams of Belgians. Oh. And just, Wait, you know, the sun's going down. I mean, just awesome. You know, I mean, just, that's what I like about it. That's cool. Do you ever have to chase, like, do you ever have cows that, like, shoot out and or, like, bust the, down the fencing? The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay. Pigs are a pain in the butt. I don't know if you've moved pigs or not. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Pigs are a pain in the butt. They got their own mindset and everything else. When I pull into a place for the first time, mm -hmm. and they get these pigs, mind you, they're 40 pounds, okay? Well, now they've grown to 250, 300 pounds. Right. And they have them in an area, an acre and a half. Oh, okay? so. I'm just using this as right. a, for instance. Yeah, yeah. Because this yeah. has happened before. <sighs> so I, I come into this place, he's never, this is the first time he's raised pig before. He says, okay. You know, these pigs really like bread. Yeah, okay, they, they, prob they probably do. I want you to back up to that gate right there. And I got 10 pigs and we'll, I'll use that bread to get the pigs on. They'll all just line right up. And I said, oh, wait a minute. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. Before I even back up here and we get all sweaty and mad and this is what you gotta do and I'll be back next week. Okay, because I'm not gonna waste my time or your time right. trying to get those pigs on. Yeah. Build a little pen up here. Yep. Okay, let's get a little bit smaller. Yep. Okay. And then you build a corral, a chute of some sort, where we can funnel these pigs in. Yeah. Because this ain't happening. <laughs> okay? And so I come back the next week. My golly, it's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. All right, all right. And I come back the next year, and it's even better. And, he, you know. Yeah, you, you, you get better. You live and you learn. might just jump right in there because I've moved them a couple times with the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's what you have. Yeah. They're ready to get the heck out of there. 
They've got they've kind of gotten used to the idea that the horse trailer takes them to uh, greener pastures, okay. so to speak. This will be a pasture, but it's gonna be greener. Hi guys. The, sun, the countryside for a little bit. Hi, thank you. Oh, well, good. So, thank you so much. Yes, yes, not a problem. Bye, chicken. Bye, chicken. Like, yeah, and the trucking. <laughs> okay, so this is Alicia. <laughs> I and, work at Pickney Hill. <laughs> and we were talking about the quality of the meat of these cows. First time raising cows. Okay, so for it being your guys' first time, yeah. the quality is amazing. Um, marbling is where it should be in the meat. For it being your guys' first time, that marbling or that fat content is really good for being okay. grass fed. Yeah, and the butcher guy in there was saying that it felt very tender and looked yeah. really good considering the age of the cows because they were three years old when we sent them in. Yeah. So I'm excited to try these out. <laughs> hey, Randy! What's up? It's a gruder. I come and get my cow. This is the Delmonico steaks. So the Delmonico um, is one of the better cuts of meat. I mean, you can just see that marbling. Look at that fine green marbling. Ah, oh, I'm drooling just looking at this. So I have not had beef in over six years. No joke, I've just been eating venison. <laughs> I don't know what to expect for flavor. So to cook these, uh, you're supposed to cook them really hot, two minutes each side and that's it. So they are room temperature. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of coarse ground pink salt on them and uh, throw them right on the grill. All right, so there they are. All right, so we have the steak here. It's been sitting under foil for 10 minutes. I think it might be a little more cooked than it should be. My cat has already smelled the steak and is trying to get on the table now. This cat is a venison fanatic, so we'll see how he reacts to the beef. What are you thinking there, dude? Are you gonna eat my steak? He, you can't see him, but he's looking his chops right now, looking at me. Okay, so so here's the Yay! color. So I probably could have taken, after two minutes, I let it sit probably another 20 seconds. I probably could have pulled it right at two minutes and it'd probably be perfect for me. This is more Eric's color, so let's try it. The fat in it, you can tell it's melted through and it's coating everything inside. Um, it's very smooth. 
It definitely has flavor. You can tell the flavor. It's not like a very strong flavor. It's probably medium of the road flavor. Overall, I'm happy with it. Okay, so one last thing I did not get to show you was the burgers. We had them do some one-third pound pre-made burger patties. Oh, and let me tell you, it was the most amazing thing I had ever tasted. As they were cooking, it smelled like I was walking past a steakhouse. Not even a brand steakhouse, but like one of those higher upscale steakhouses, you know, that aren't a chain. So I tried it after it was cooked with no condiments and it was amazing. It was so good that the condiments I later put on, I took off because they ruined the flavor. It seriously tasted like someone ground up a steak, smushed it into a patty, and there was my burger. Oh, it was so good, so good. The flavor was just so well-rounded and, and deep and smoky, and it really makes me feel good that we raised some good quality beef. The way we raised it works. So would I do it again? Heck yeah, I definitely would. But we'd charge a lot more this time. So comment down below, what is your favorite breed of beef cow to raise and why? I know Angus is very popular, it finishes out fast, that's what a lot of people out here use is Angus. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So when you're sitting down to eat your steak this week, think of Cookie and Ginger, who are also now steaks too. And here's a little sneak peek of what happened to them after the fact. curly fur she's got down here. And what are you saying? Okay, can we pause or like? I edited this, don't worry. Okay. All this clip it's you go, and then blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You're like, why I look good in this video. <laughs> <laughs>